actually. Turn left and turn right. <laughs> so now I change the rendering code, just because I want to. Um, one thing that we could uh, try now about to do is... Actually, I'm going to do a slightly different thing. Uh, I'm going to uh, make the ball drop from a height 500. So, oh, that's dropping the player from height. Um, so, oh, 1000, why not? Um, let's see, after this, yeah, refreshes, uh, drops from 1000. Um, so one thing uh, we could do is teach our bot patience, right? Um, uh, that it should wait until the right time to uh, strike the ball. Um, so let's set it up so that uh, when we start from the side we have enough uh, time, but otherwise we don't have enough time. Uh, I'm just going to guess some random numbers and it's nice because we can just uh, so 0 we want it going up all right so this is too early so maybe 500 Oh, I think that's fine. Maybe just like tweaking values here. So what I wanted to set up is that when you are f further away, it's perfect. Yep. Yeah. And when you're uh, there, you're too early. Right. This is good. And that's bad. So we now actually hit the ball. Um, So let's call this the patience exercise. Uh, strike. Um, like I know advanced bots might be able to aerial or flip this in, but uh, sorry, I'm switching uh, so that um, I'm going to teach you how to write unit tests first. Um, so that you have a repeatable set of exercises that uh, yeah, you'll do um, and expect the results. Um, I'll come back to custom graders later. Um, so, um, bar, bar, bar. let's call it unit tests .py. Uh, import unit test. That's the standard Python unit test, no need to install anything. Um, I'm going to take inspiration again from the Rocket League uh, training tests. So it comes with some tests down here. Um, for instance, it tests its uh, common exercises as a unit test test case and then it makes some assertions. I'm not going to review this entire file. But uh, I am going to show you this. Da -da 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 -da. What am I going to show you? This is fine. Oops, I want within unit tests. Going to copy paste some code. So uh, I'm not going to use. So we're going to construct our own uh, playlists that uh, inspire from here. Um, and the way we're going to do that is uh, from hello world training import. Strike up, strike her, spell mistake in here, but it's okay. 
Um, and what we're going to assert is that one of these passes and one of these fails. It's just the other thing, if your bot accidentally becomes more complicated, you can see uh, this test passing and like, that's kind of nice to see. Um, so, test, uh, test, no pun, and required, uh, then this run playlist comes from uh, Rocket League training, no patience required, so I'm gonna just show you the definition of this. Um, it comes from Exercise Runner, which uh, has the run module function, which we are not using. We're using run playlist. So run playlist uh, just takes a playlist and a few optional arguments, but it gives us a iterator over exercise results. And the exercise results uh, are kind of include um, so these things come from history, exercise result. These things are just a little data class that tell you the seed that it was run with, the grade, uh, the exercise, and yeah, that's mainly it. This is something uh, we'll cover in a later exercise once we have, once the training framework kind of properly has a web server and a database of um, past things. That's what this history directory is uh, for as well. Um, yeah, we want to make sure that our, uh, our bot passes, as in has a pass grade or has a fail grade in the different scenarios. Okay. So this uh, run playlist returns an iterator. So it'll return you the, it'll yield the results as soon as they're coming. Uh, but you can do result results equals list result iter. So that'll basically block until all the results in here have finished, uh, and then we can do assertions. So we uh, can do uh, self dot assert equal uh, um, um, the length of results zero. So I'm gonna stop running these uh, exercises. do is run, just run this file. So if main, we want to unit test.main. So this is a different, this thing uh, like Rocket League uh, Arlbot training was kind of the top level thing, but uh, in here we kind of want our test framework to be the top level thing that processes uh, your results. The way we run this is cd training uh, python unit tests name run playlist it's not defined because I've never imported one playlist from our bot training dot um, exercise runner which is this thing here I, like I could have just uh, search for a run playlist. Actually, let's do that. Nah. So run playlist is imported here. You could just copy this thing. In your tests, should yeah import run playlists. All right. So what we are setting is that 
we have zero results, which should fail, um, because we should actually have one result. Yeah, cool. So the unit tests don't run uh, many times, they run once uh, and give you the result. So now uh, unit tests gave us one result, and that's good. So this thing tells us that something hasn't been cleaned up properly. I'll look into fixing that. Or maybe put the DLL guys if something needs fixing. Um, Alright, so we don't just want to assert that the results are that. We want to make sure self.assert equal um, so I'm going to make result equals results uh, zero and after equal result dot exercise dot name um, I'm just going to copy this, just making sure it ran the right results. So you don't really have to do that, but it might be nice. Just a note, um, Strike Patience is a data class, so we can just do name equals that, and it does the same thing. Um, but what we're actually interested in is uh, self.cert equal um, I want to make sure that the exercise was a uh, gave us a pass result. Uh, so, cert is instance, 